My name is Pat Brown. I'm an interventionist at Recovery Centers of America. My name is Rob Strauber. I'm an interventionist at Recovery Centers of America. We work with families that are looking for solutions for their loved one. They may have reached a point where they're unable to get their loved one to agree to come into treatment. So we offer them the services to be able to talk through a solution. Families initially reach out to us in crisis. The communication patterns have broken down. There's a lot of tension and anger and fear. Our process is to peel that stuff away and have a conversation and provide solutions to everybody in the family. One thing that we talk to families all about is that as long as they're drawing breath, there is hope. And it's really about listening and hearing what the family's telling us and then preparing them by putting together their messages. The impact comes from focusing the family on the common enemy of addiction and making sure the person we're talking to understands that they are loved and supported. Fear of failure in recovery is real. What we try to do again in the strength in numbers approach is build courage to change. An intervention can often lead someone to feel like they are being ganged up upon, and that's the exact opposite of what we're looking for. What really matters is they're here now saying they love you and they support you and they're ready to fight your addiction with you. This disease carries so much pain that effective communication is virtually impossible with a lot of families. This is not about confrontation. This is truly about trying to match what the right approach is for the family. The atmosphere we're looking to create is one out of love and concern. You know, interventions work because we can keep the conversation level versus spiking and yelling and screaming and, and things that are not conducive to solutions. To be able to listen to that family system and get families to recognize their role within their loved one's addiction and subsequent recovery is important so that we can build a relationship and help them in the long term. We want families to understand that there is love that helps and love that hurts. We want everybody to agree to take certain steps in healthy support of their loved one. So a successful intervention provides solutions for not only the addicted person, but for everybody in the room. We're looking for full family healing. As part of the intervention process, we want to help establish new roles. The important part to recognize is that recovery, it's a process. We let families really know that we're in this for the long haul with them. We're just a little piece, but we're a piece that starts in a very difficult moment for you and your family, and we want to be there all the way through the process. My name is Dave. We had an intervention for a friend of mine. We didn't realize how significant the trouble was until we spoke with Rob, and that's when we decided to go ahead and do the intervention. Everybody knows somebody that's lost, that's in trouble, and you, you don't realize how bad it is. You're in denial, and, and you say, uh, the, the, you know, they'll get through this on their own, but so many lives are getting lost here. One thing I feel when I walk away from any intervention is that I've helped instill hope in that family, no matter what the outcome is, that they know that they have somebody they can turn to, and we help create that message from ambivalence to hope.